hello everyone welcome to my channel this is the next video in the fast api tutorial and in this video we will learn how to let fast api interact with a mongodb database to be more specific we will first learn how to install a mongodb database then we will add a few data into the mongodb server the data in this case would be the details of a couple of employees within an organization we will then install and set up mongo engine which would allow fast api to fetch all the details about the employees from mongodb and provide that information to a client in json format so let's get right into it installing mongodb is a pretty straightforward process if you go to the documentation official documentation of mongodb you'll find steps to install it in all the major operating systems like linux mac os and windows even within linux they provide detailed steps on how to install it in ubuntu red hat centos etc right i am using mac os now so if you go to install on mac os you can see that the steps are pretty uh simple you just need to use brew uh, and install mongodb community version right and then start the service here right these are majorly the two steps that we have to do right this will set up the mongodb community edition database server in our system now i've already installed it so i'm not going to reinstall again but the steps are pretty much given in detail in the official documentation so do go out and check that i will provide the link to it in my description so once we have that up and running we need a gui or a graphical user interface to communicate or interact with that particular mongodb database server that we have installed in our system you must have heard about similar things like php my admin for mysql or pg admin for postgresql right so similarly um, mongodb also provides such a utility to interact with mongodb database and that's called mongodb compass right so this is a graphical user interface which we can install in our system and interact with mongodb so let's see let's try it now and you can see we can download it as any other application so in case of mac os it's going to be dmg in case of windows it's going to be an exe package right that way we can download and execute this particular application and use it to connect to the mongodb server and view all the collections and documents within a database now let's open mongodb compass it's initializing we can just click on connect and it will connect to the database in our local host with a port of 27017 now you can see that there are a few default databases that are here uh, we can create our own database so in this case i'll create a database called hrns and a collection name called employee okay and within this employee collection we will add more documents so I'll create the database. You can see I have the database here. I have the employee collection. And within this employee collection, I can now add documents, right? So just add a couple of information. You can see there is already a field called ID. This is similar to the primary keys in SQL databases. So I'll let that be there because we can use it later to reference a particular document i'll add a few more fields one would be say name let's say jaren juice then there is age i'll say 28 then we have teams so this will be a list of all the teams uh, an employee is part of. So I'll just say management, technology, yeah. So these are the few basic data that I'm inserting right now. Let's say insert. I already have 
created a initial document you can view this in this format or you can view it in json format as well in this way i'll add one more information okay i'll insert it now i have two documents within the employee collection within the HRMS database okay so that's the structure you have a database within a particular database you have a collection within a collection there will be multiple documents right the next step is to install mongo engine so that using it we can fetch these details from mongodb and pass it to the client let's do that we are back in our fast api application and I have my virtual environment activated. Here, I will install Mongo Engine. So let's say pip3 install Mongo Engine. I now have Mongo Engine here. The first step is to actually map the structure or the schema of this employee document to a class in FastAPI, right? So to do that, I'll create a new file called models.py okay and within this i'll create a new class called employee and this should match to the name of the document here uh, the capitalization doesn't matter but it should be the same word so it should be employee here also it should be employee so that it maps to the correct collection now this will inherit from a document so document is a class in mongo engine so i have to import that so i'll say from mongo engine which we have just installed import document right now this employee class will inherit from this document class which is there in mongo engine now within the employee class we have to mention the fields which are there in the employee document so basically name age and teams so we'll say name equals now name is a string right so we have to import like something called string field so we'll say name is string field okay Next is age. Age is an int field. So it's an integer, right? We'll say it's an int field. So we'll have to import that as well, int field. And we have teams. Now teams is a list. So we have to import the list field. So we'll say list field. Right, now this maps to the structure or schema of this document here name is a string age is an integer themes is a list now i can add different conditions or constraints for each of these fields so for example in name i can say max length is 100 now that we have mapped our class properly to the document schema in mongodb we can now use this class within the fast api application so to do that i'll just import from models import employee now any operations that i want to do like um, addition of new employee or deletion of new employee or fetching of uh, employees etc can be done on an instance of this employee class but before that we have to connect this fast api application to the mongodb database right so to do that we will use something called connect so for a mongo engine i'll import connect okay and then i can pass in a few parameters like database so database is the name of the database that we have created in mongodb so that will be hrms in this case next we need a host which is in this case is going to be a local host right and then we will require a port which is going to be 
27017 here right so i'll say 27017 okay if we have implemented authentication for this mongodb database we can also add additional parameters like username and password but uh, that is i have not implemented any of that so this is enough to connect to the database next we will create a new endpoint called get all employees so we'll say get get all employees okay so this will basically fetch all the details from mongodb and provide it to the client so the function here i'll use the same name get all employees okay now here we have to write the code that would fetch the details from mongodb to do that we will use this employee class that we have imported from models so we'll say employees equals employee dot objects so this will basically return all the employee documents and put it in this employees now let's print this out i will not return it yet let's just print this out okay and then run this application let's go to the documentation let's say 127 docs so i have a new endpoint here called get all employees right i'll try it out execute this will not return anything here because we have not uh, returned anything right but let's go back to the application and see so here you can see it's an employee object right we don't see any other details it's just an employee object okay so we have to convert it into json okay to do that we have this utility called to json this is provided by mongo engine okay now let's print this out let's go back and execute it again again nothing will be returned but here you can see that it's a list of uh, all the uh, employees here right now let's then directly return this so we'll say return employees this will be employees okay i'll remove this now we'll have something that is being returned to the client which will be a list here okay that we saw here okay now let's execute it again we have a response but if you see this doesn't look like a list but like a string right so you can see it's trying to escape all of this double quotes right looks like a string let's confirm by printing out the type of this variable let's go back and execute yep it's a string okay now that is not good for the client right the client would not be able to do anything if we pass it as a string okay but thankfully we have something called json module in python that would help us resolve this so we can just import json module and then load it this way okay so let's let's say this is going to be employees list and this list is going to be actually in as a python list okay let's sprint the type of employees list okay so let's go back and execute it again now it is coming up as a list which is usable for the client so i will pass employees list instead of employees okay and remove this here 
Now I can execute. Here you can see it looks much, much better, right? And that's actually a list that's coming up. Now, as a client, you will be able to see a dictionary here or a JSON, basically not a dictionary, is a, as a JSON with employees as the key and a list of all the employees. Okay, now the client would be able to use this information in their application. Now, instead of you know writing two separate line of code, we can basically also write it in just one by using json.load s and putting everything in a bracket. Right, and then I can remove this and just return employees. Right, let's go back, execute, same thing. Right, so there we go. We have fetched the information about the employees from MongoDB and returned it to the client as JSON. So that's basically the way in which you can set up MongoDB and Mongo Engine to let Fast API connect with MongoDB and provide the data that is stored in the MongoDB database to the client. So that's it for this video. But in the next video, we will learn how to get specific information from MongoDB. So now we here in this case, we basically fetched all the details that is there in the database, right? Now we will learn how to fetch certain information based on certain criteria from the database.